all. Hi, I'm Aline. Welcome to my kitchen. And today I am making, um, let me get my little recipe out. Ricotta and spinach tacos. I saw this recipe. I can't remember where I saw it. It sounded good. And I thought, well, it'll be something different for me and Piggy to try, and it sounds healthy. So we're going to try it. Now I'm going to give you a list of ingredients and show you what I have here. It calls for 8 ounces of ricotta cheese at room temperature, and I weighed that out. That is 8 ounces. It calls for 2 tablespoons of chopped fresh cilantro. Now I have 2 tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley. And if you want to know why, because when I went to grab cilantro, I grabbed cilantro and they had parsley in with the cilantro. And I did not notice that. It happens. So it happened. You can substitute cilantro and parsley. It just won't give you the exact same flavor. It calls for three cloves of garlic chopped. This one I have two cloves of garlic chopped up. And then I have a clove of garlic here because it calls for one clove somewhere and two cloves somewhere else. It calls for kosher salt to taste. I have a fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. It calls for one tablespoon of vegetable oil. One onion sliced into half inch thick rings. Piggy did that for me. Yeah, I gotta see if I can't sharpen the tool that I did it with. Uh, it calls for two four ounce cans of sliced green chili peppers drained. Well, I couldn't find the sliced green chili peppers. I found the uh, sliced jalapeno peppers. It was a seven ounce can. I drained them. I used one can. And it's also got carrots in it, so I figured we hmm, can't beat that. Then it calls for two bunches or one pound of fresh spinach stem. That is a 12 ounce package of spinach. That was all I worried about. It calls for a half teaspoon of ground cumin. 8 to 12 corn tortillas. I just have a package of white corn tortillas and I'll use what I need out of it. Then it calls for salsa verde for serving. Okay, then it tells us here. Combine the ricotta, the cilantro, and one clove of garlic in a medium bowl and season with salt. So I got the one clove of garlic. Put that in there. That garlic is sticky, y'all. Uh, I'm going to put the cilantro, well, the parsley in there. It would be cilantro if I had cilantro. And I'm going to put the salt in there. That is kosher salt, by the way. In case I missed that while ago. And I'm going to mix this up. Okay. I got that mixed up. Next, we start with the onions. Okay, it says to heat the oil in a large skillet over high heat. I have mine on medium right now. You going out a little bit? I'm actually only going to do it over medium high. I will not do high. And I got about a tablespoon of oil in there. And what it says to do, it says, uh, Heat the oil in large scale or high heat. Add the onions and cook without stirring until lightly browned for about one or two minutes. I like your little decoration on there. Uh, on your clipboard. Oh, yeah, my little dandelion. Piggy gave that to me earlier. Sizzle, sizzle. Yeah, I didn't break those apart earlier. I was just making them in the rain. Get these in this skillet. Basically, let them sit for about two minutes. And I'm going to set this off to the side. I'll still use that probably. I'm going to turn the timer on for two minutes. Good thing you said that. I'm going to grab it. <laughs> um, it says cook for one to two minutes, and then you stir and continue cooking until the onion begins to soften. I'm going to cut that on. That's for about another two minutes after this. And then you add the chilies and the spinach. 
gotta get mixed up these on the You see how smoky that is on medium high heat? Imagine that would be on high heat. Yep. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do, y'all. I can tell you about my giveaway. Uh, you'll be seeing this hopefully when it comes out Monday, March the 6th. I'm doing a 1K subscriber giveaway on Saturday, March the 11th at 7 p.m. on live. And we have several gifts we'll be giving away. We're giving away a white apron like I have, oh, three white aprons like I have on. We've got two cookbooks we're giving away. We have six uh, handmade notebooks that Anita, uh, a friend of mine, has made. Um, we have uh, four piggies to rub, regular, four piggies no salt or salt free. Uh, we have uh, several different uh, hot pad sets and some, uh, not hot pads, uh, hot holder sets and then some hot pads and then a runner. Uh, there's a $10 Amazon gift card. Okay, that is the two minute mark. Start with this. They smelling good. They do. Folks, we okay. ain't had nothing but a banana this morning. We done been out hitting the last two stores we okay. have to hit for shopping. Okay, begin to soften for about two minutes. Okay, stir it and cook it for another two minutes. And once it cooks for the two minutes, add the chilies and the spinach. And spinach will be added in batches. Let's see. Got to cook it down. And the cumin. So what I'll do is I will uh, add the chilies and the cumin and some of the spinach. It's got five seconds. Three, two, one. I'm going to add this. Um, I had Pawpaw's Kitchen offer uh, to donate a project. I'll get in touch with him to find out what he wants to donate. We'll put some of this spinach in here. And the spinach will just wilt down. Be like Popeye, need our spinach. Yeah, I like spinach actually, it's good stuff. I don't know if it'll make us strong to finish like Popeye, but yeah. we'll get it. We're gonna put the cumin in. And let's see how long this cook this. It's stirring until spinach begins to wilt. Uh, doesn't really say how long. Probably got too much spinach in here, but you know, I do that sometimes. Now, I'm gonna say, you know, if they're not, there's no meat in this, so this would be real, a, a good vegetarian dish. I wouldn't say it would be a, <coughs> excuse me, it's not a vegan dish because you have the ricotta cheese. But, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to have a good vegetarian dish every now and then. Yep. And if you want meat in it, well, you can add meat to it, I'm sure. That might interest Haley. Haley's a little girl that made our sub sandwiches yesterday. Yeah. And uh, we told her about the channel, and she's like, ooh, that sounds interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
got those wilted down. Let's add some more. Continue to stir this as it wilts down. And another young lady we met at Food Line. What did I say her name was? It'll come to me after Starts with a C. Chelsea? Uh, something like that. Something similar. She saw me a day or two later. She pointed straight at me and said, I signed up to that. I said, did you? She said, yeah. I said, good. So you two ladies are watching. I remember you. Now we're about to the last of the spinach. I'll give that to Pete. Uh, and you can have that glass dish too, Pete. All right. Y'all see how nice she is to me giving me all these dirty dishes to wash. So I'm going to make this one. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> Something over potent. That COVID. Is that what that is? That's what it is. About to choke us over here. Huh? It's about to choke us over here. Yeah. That's the only thing it can be because it's the only thing I put in there other than those jalapenos, which it could be the jalapenos. Could be the mixture. Yeah. That's all right, though. I'll get my payback on it. <laughs> when I eat it. That's it. And y'all, this right here, spinach is wilted down. I'm going to add the garlic. Take a break, give y'all a flying ticket. Y'all see in that thing. Hopefully they can see in it. Oh yeah, they can see it. I can tell from here. All right. Okay. These wings are getting tired. Got to set it down. Okay. Now it said to add the garlic. And spinach. Uh, and we'll add the remaining two cloves of garlic and cook until the spinach is completely wilted, which it is. Set about three more minutes. Then season with salt. So I'm going to. Put a little salt on that. That's just the taste on that one. And once I season it with salt, stir it up, put it in a bowl, and keep it warm. And I'm going to cut this down. I'll put it on five. I don't need it on six. And you'll see I'm putting this in the bowl there. All right, I hear you beeping at me. And if you're wondering, no, I, if I'm a spinach, well, I almost stove over here. Okay, I've got my ricotta cheese, i got my spinach there. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a little bit of oil on my paper towel. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to run it around my skillet. This is so that I can cook my uh, corn tortillas. And Piggy, if you'll be so nice as to get me a plate to put these on. And you'll see these corn tortillas, man, they're... What kind they're of plate Huh? One of these black ones? <coughs> That'll work. <coughs> Red one? I don't care which one you give me. I'm going to be one of these red ones. Okay. Now these corn tortillas are not the best. You can say, like I said, they are tore up. But they will work. They'll eat the same. They will eat. We can still make a taco out of them. Hey, we got them from UGO and big old box. They got all sorts of these in them for real cheap. I ain't complaining. That's it. And we usually make chips out of these anyway. Right. I normally use flour tortillas. I prefer the flour tortillas. 
They might be using the corn tortillas. Because the recipe calls for corn tortillas. Oh. And I'm ready to <coughs> draw the recipe as it states. Oh. And then uh, form a basis on what you can change to make it better for you. Right. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook up about four to six of these tortillas. And once they're done, we'll be back over at my island area where I'm normally at. And uh, they're going to move around and then we'll put these together and eat them. So we will see you when we're back over there. Yeah. All right, y'all, the tortillas are done. They ain't the best, but they're done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make one up right now for each of us. And what it says is put some of this mixture on each taco shell and it's had to divide it evenly so if you I, I only did four shells so we're gonna have quite a bit of this mixture left maybe we can have some later when we get right. older we'll have some later like i said i'm just gonna make one each right now and it says to top it with some of the ricotta mixture just a little bit there that on there Well, yeah. They can't Finger. see that anyway. I was just like, fingers It's on the plates. And it says a spoonful of salsa verde. Now, this is the canned salsa verde. It's not homemade. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know how good it's going to be because the best salsa verde I've ever had was at El Sueno. El Sueno's. El Sueno's restaurant. And that is stuff was so good. What did it do? It was. And Peggy didn't even know what it was. And he, he tried mine and it was good. Got it. Got it. All right, Pete. Y'all know what time it is now, folks. Yep. Now it's time to fold this up into a taco and see if we can make this thing work. And that's what I'm going to do. That's different. That's good. That's what she likes to do right there, folks. Experiment. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's kind of... It doesn't remind me of a Mexican taco. kind of reminds me of a uh, an Italian taco. Huh. With a Mexican flavor. Because you got the spinach and you got the ricotta. It, it's, it's different. It's not Mexican. It's not a, a normal taco like you would eat. But it is good. Mmm. That's definitely good. I will say, it would probably be better if it did have the cilantro instead of the parsley. But it's got a kick. That and a flour tortilla. You think it would be better in a flour tortilla? I think so. I said, we like flour tortillas. We're not big on the corn I mean, tortillas. That's good. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's good with the corn tortilla. Don't get me wrong. I'll eat it. Mm. I feel sad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a, I mean, that's a winner. If you like spinach, if you like ricotta cheese, but that definitely a winner. You don't really have to have the cilantro either because the jalapeno and the other stuff, plenty of heat. Yeah, well, the cilantro just gives it a fresh flavor, which the parsley does that. I mean, I'm not knocking the parsley. It was my, my mistake, but I would say if you do make these, try to make sure you get the cilantro so that you get the full effect of what it's supposed to be. It is very good. It's messy. It can be messy. Well, yeah. Vicky got ricotta on his fingers. I hope y'all try this recipe. And if you do, please let me know. And uh, that's good stuff, y'all. That's what it's all about, folks. If you don't try and experiment, you'll never know. That's it. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. We're not